This video is sponsored by Chugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report Today. June 13, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just had two solar flares. I believe that they're sympathetic solar flares. This event started with a C, 6.67. And that moved into an M, and we'll call it a 3.2. Now we have some additional information. Now this sympathetic solar flare blast that came from two separate sunspots started around 1500 UTC time, which is about 8 a.m., and ended around 1800 UTC time, which is about 11 a.m. Central Time this morning. Headed over to Space Weather Live, they do call out the M3.22 here, but they actually have not assigned it a sunspot group, although we'll easily assign both those flares to a sunspot group in just one moment. We only have a 5% chance of an X-class solar flare. We only had a 35% chance of an M flare. We can make that 100% now. Headed over to HMI Intensogram. Well, it looks like the first flare, the C6.67, originated from sunspot group AR3712 right here. Now, this appears to be a reverse polarity sunspot, which I will show you guys on HMI Magnetogram in just one moment. The larger flare of the two came from AR3713. That's going to be the M3.22 solar flare. Now, it looked like a sympathetic event, one after the other, almost in repetition. Currently, we have 10 sunspot groups that are Earth-facing and named on our solar disk, and several of them are becoming more complex. Uh, I want to Point out 3709 is directly Earth facing. 3712, which I believe is the most complex sunspot we have right now that it's Earth facing. Additionally, we have AR3713 and AR3716, which have both just been named and just come around the limb and appear to be becoming more complex. All right, heading over to GOES, Solar Ultraviolet Imager, 195 angstroms. First off, I'd like to point out that we have a small coronal hole directly Earth-facing currently, so we could see an increase in solar winds over the next 40 hours or so. Now, let's take a look at the two solar flares. The first one coming from AR3712 here. That's going to be the C6.67 with the limited information we have thus far, followed by our M flare, our M3.22 solar flare. That's going to be coming from sunspot AR3713. And you have one and then the other almost at the same time. So I'm saying that it looks like they may be a sympathetic eruption. Head over to Lasco C3. Let's see if we can see a coronal mass ejection emitted, and it does look like we do have plasma being admitted from the 7 o'clock position here, which would be the area of those solar flares. Uh, at this point, it's hard to tell, but I wouldn't guess that these would be geoeffective towards Earth, although we'll have to wait and see. We'll wait for NASA's model, which won't be ready for several hours. Headed over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. We're no longer, believe it or not, in a proton storm, but we're still in a polar cap absorption event, especially around the North Pole, which means we have protons pouring in the North Pole. Now let's see if we can see this event 
or these two events, and that's going to be the first portion of it, the C6.67 solar flare out of 3712, followed by the M3.22 solar flare out of AR3713. I would call it sympathetic, but some would argue. They were very close as far as the eruption time period. And that did reinforce our polar cap absorption event, as you can see. So that is still ongoing. Over to STO HMI magnetogram image. It was taken at 1630 UTC time, which is 1130 here central today. And this is a very recent photo. We can see that AR3712 is still a reverse polarity sunspot, meaning that we have the positive over the negative in the southern hemisphere here. Now, the larger flare came from sunspot AR3713. It also has features that appear to be reverse polarity sunspot, although that one is arguable. This one definitely is not. Now they say reverse polarity sunspots, i.e. here, positive over negative in the southern hemisphere. This also looks like a reverse polarity sunspot. Negative over positive, black over white in the northern hemisphere, are very rare. But I believe that we're seeing more and more of them as we become closer to the top of our solar cycle. And finally, taking a look at SOHO, 284 angstroms. This was taken at 6.06 this morning Central Time or 13.06 UTC Time today. So everything's not quite swung around as far as it actually has. You can see, first off, we do have a coronal hole that's Earth-facing. This sunspot has been active. We can see our 3712 here, reverse polarity sunspot. Uh, we'll have to see if this was named. It looks like a reverse polarity sunspot as well in the northern hemisphere. And of course, we can see the very large AR3713 that caused the M3.22 solar flare. We can also see that we have several more flares coming around the limb. And we have other flares that are going around the far limb as well. And real quick, before we leave, back to HMI Intensigram, 3716 is a sunspot group that appears to be reverse polarity in the northern hemisphere, meaning we have negative over positive embryos within that sunspot group. That said, God bless you and yours. Please share our video, please subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro World.